to Rappler. I'm Ayi Makareig, sitting in for Maria Ressa. On this week's Talk Thursday, we keep track of the search for the country's next Chief Justice. We talk to a man who has a distinction of both nominating candidates for the post and himself being a nominee to replace Renato Corona. We're honored to have with us former Senator and human rights lawyer Rene Sagisag. Hello, sir. It's an honor to be with you this afternoon. Welcome to Rafa. Well, the same here. Maraming salamat. <coughs> so, sir, natawa ka when we said that you were nominated to be Chief Justice. How did you find it when you heard the news? Well, I was incredulous. Dahil, yun nga, under the Constitution, one need, well, had to be no younger than 70. Right. Eh, yun niya, kung mukha man akong under 70 dahil second childhood ko na to eh. And in January 87, I was given a signed Supreme Court appointment by President Cory. Eh, even then, I turned it down because looking around, talagang ang daming many more na talagang qualified than I. And I thought na kung ako man nakapagsilbi sa sambayanan noong umiira lang walang habag na batas militar during the dark years, public service, in my view, was its own reward. Kaya, at saka yung pati, eh, talagang gusto ko na makauwi eh. And noong naman akong ma-appoint ni Cory noong February 25, 1986, Dahil I had been her spokesperson during the campaign. Na sinabi niya, Nay, you'll continue to be my spokesman. Napatingin ako sa patos ko ng antagal. Naku, nag-alboroto yung ali. Ikaw, isa ka sa nag-convince sa akin tumakbo. Ngayon, kailangan kung tulong mo, ayaw mo kong tulungan, cha 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 eh. Yes, ma'am. And yun naman sa Senado, ganun din talagang ayaw ni Ting Paterno, ayaw ni Dulce, ano, yeah, ayaw ni be, Baby at Ting Paterno, ayaw ko rin, ayaw din ni Dulce. So pinatawag ni President Cory and I understood na there was a lot of crying, etc. But she prevailed na I still need the two of them. So I was an accidental public servant serving a providential president. And then in 92, we both stepped down. Pero yun nga, madalas pa akong binibiro no na, Oy, ne, sabi mo na sa akin kung anong gusto mong pinta nitong Arlegi. Eh, dahil ikaw ang papalit sa akin. Ah, Diyos mo. E minsan, inappoint pa ako sa cabinet. Tinanggal si Bobit. I have made up my mind. I've been a home papalit. So, pumasok dun sa loob. Paglabas, <laughs> nakita akong nakaluhod. Ay, sige, hindi na nga. <laughs> And yun ang distinction ko lang sa guest house noon. I could make her laugh. And uh, meaning, how did I do that? Whenever I would give her very serious advice, she would laugh and laugh. But when I would tell her a joke, she would implement it. <laughs> Kaya we were not able to do better than we did. But, you know, she was controversial, matigas ang ulo, stubborn. But when she passed away, grabe. I mean, like in my case, uh, the Filipino people could be grateful. Kasi nung mahalala ko noong 1987, I did not have to spend a single centavo of my own. Dinala ko na ang sambayanan. Bigay yung boss ni Dulce ng one million of seed money. Tony Gonzalez, at the end of the election, we were able to return it intact. We did not need it. So kaya, yun niya, looking at the way na nilibing si President Cory, looking at the way I got elected, can never give up on our own people, on our, shall we say, unhappy motherland. 
So you talk about President Cory. Now it's her son who will appoint the next Chief Justice. And you have a rather um, interesting proposal to hold, to have some sort of a uh, cooling effect, you cooling period for the Supreme Court, you call it. So what exactly is the idea behind this? Well, sa ngayon, talagang medyo bo volatile, medyo explosive. If he names Tony Carp or Laila or Kemenares, eh, the divisions will continue. So I think na we need time to navigate through the shoals. No? And that is why I thought originally of Bobby Abad, he's retiring in less than two years. Ronnie Zamora, also in 2014. In 19, 2014, medyo siguro, I hope, medyo kumalma na ng kaunti. We can make a more deliberate choice dahil it's only human, only natural to get a chief justice beyond your term. I mean, natural. E kaya, yun ang appeal ko, ewan kong papansinin, na Sana mag-appoint muna ng someone like Bobby Abad, Ronnie Samora, dahil 2014, another Chief Justice, longer term. And that is when I can support someone like Tony Carpio, Laila De Lima. Pero sa ngayon, uh, talagang masyadong mainit. Kaya we have to bring down the temperature to have an increase in light. Sir, some observers say that shouldn't it be that President Aquino will take this as a good opportunity after the impeachment to um, appoint someone who could institute reforms immediately. So, kumbaga, why wait for two years, 2014, to appoint someone who could do that? If he could do it now, isn't this the best time, they say? for him to be able to do that. Yeah, pero I respect that. But let's say Tony Karp is appointed now. Uh, may mga divisions as always got to eh. And we need time na pakalmahin yon. Anyway naman, I am pleasantly amazed at the announcements made by acting CJ Tony Karp. SAL, JDF. Pero yun nga, uh, ang dumalabas dun sa SAL niya ata, kengkoy din naman eh. I mean... The guidelines, you mean? Correct. In other words, ang intention namin when we drafted 6713, you have the right to know. And when you ask me na mag-issue ng SAL ko, here it is. What else can I do for you? Eh, ito eh, sinabi ko na roon sa mga estudyante ko, ay, titigil ko na yung the last two or three years. Ina-assign ko lagi, get the Salam of Justice, get an accounting of the JDF. And all of them were pretty frustrated. Lumalabas sa mga resolutions. Ah, sagisag yan at mga estudyante. These are bad people, hindi pwede pagtiwalaan yan. Pero sabi nga nung kaibigan kong fellow human rights lawyer, Men Men Paredes of Cebu, RTC, if you file a truthful psalm, how can it ever be used against you? I mean, kung totoo at accurate, kompleto, paano magagamit yan? Kaya, to me, eh, kung yun ang kengkoy na implementation, baliwala rin. They are amending our law. And who are they? They are unelected. Wala naghalal sa mga mga maestrado. Eh. Abay, pakikialaman yung trabaho ng mga elected representatives, dahil kami ang nag-meeting niya ni Kakomong Sumulong sa conference committee. Yung JDF, gusto ko rin makita kung ano doon. Kaya yan, I would want uh, isa pang pagbabago na gusto ko makita. Itigil na yung sulat-sulat ni na Titong Mendoza, ni na Toy Feliciano. E eh, final, final, final na yung ano eh. Aba, Eh, no sumulat ang mga kolehiyala no 1971, doon sa issue ng pag ng voting age to 18, 
Chief Judge Roberto Concepcion, one of my icons, idols, nagalit, na this is not done. I mean, you don't write to us. You get a lawyer or you file it formally, but not to write to us. Pero dito, pag mga anak ng Diyos na kamukha na na Titong Mendoza, nakakasulat, at yung final final, <laughs> suddenly, nabubuhay. Kaya, yun sana, yan ang mga changes. At saka, bakit biyahe ng biyahe ang mga justices? Meaning, Chief Justice Felix Bacasyar, my teacher, said na he, he never traveled abroad his entire life. At uh, today, with the internet, all you need to know, nandiyan eh. Kaya uh, tanggap kami ng tanggap ng resolution. So, pink. Oh, si so-and-so only because of official travel. But the people are never told kung ano yung biyaheng yun. And they should, you know, uh, mga walong libo yata yung pending cases. Yun ang tutukan nila. They have only one duty. Sabi nga ng isang uh, undergoing, well, the exercise sa Senate sa America. What do you see your duty to be? Three words. To decide cases. Yan lang ang trabaho ng maestrado. Itong kaso namin, Aquila Legis, yung Kileni Villa, I represent Sosing Mendoza, Bataan. Nasa third decade na kami. Pending pa. At that's not unusual. Eh papano? Biyahe ng biyahe itong mga tinamanang ng mga maestrado. Yan ang mga gusto kong pagabagong ma-institute. At yun nga, at saka sila ang dadaldal kasi pag tinignan mo yung iskra nung in the 60s yung volume na yon isang volume contains four months of decisions ngayon ito mga daldalero at daldalerang ito isang bagong volume ngayon apat na araw at yung uh, nung una ang daling maintindihan ngayon kailangan matranslate pa eh so confusing yang mga changes na yan, ang kasi ang natatandaan ko lang nung araw na 9-0 nag-move to reconsider si Florence Regalado teacher ko, number one sa bar naging justice then September nag-move to recon pagdating ng resolution between Christmas and New Year nagkatrabaho sila noon eh naging 09. Kaya doon, talagang nag-flip ang Supreme Court. Inamin nila na nagkabali. Na ngayon naman, yung mayor namin dito sa Pasig, si Naning Caruncho, ito eh, nag-Sara Duterte din ito eh, na mainit ang ulo, na TV, aba eh, binugbog yung TV crewman. Eh doon, nag-circulate ang ponensya, draft ponensya ni Justice Herrera. Talagang adverse to Mayor Caruncho. Eh, it took a while. And then, nabago ang naging ponente ngayon, Vicente Abad Santos. Di binanatan niya, flip-flopping. Sabi ni Vicente Abad Santos, decision, we flipped, but we did not flop. <laughs> eh ngayon talagang pre-plopping, League of Cities nila fourth or fifth motion for recon. Right. Which is really so against the principle of stability, predictability, and coherence. Yan ang dapat ibalik ng bagong punong maestrado at mga kasama niya. So you talk about the reforms that you want in the Supreme Court. And this is these are actually crucial now that we're choosing the next Chief Justice. But this week, the JBC extended the deadline. So adding more nominees as of now, I believe we have over 50 applicants and nominees for the post, which I think is the longest list that we've had. What do you think? How can the JBC trim down and really select properly the well, candidates? Well, uh Hindi rin malinaw sa akin kung bakit na-extend. Kaya doon, eh, 
nadagdagan na naman ang mga pinabili lang ng suka, eh, nominated na. Yung iba doon, nag-turn down, like uh, Gibocho Doro, right. na baka qualified, but maybe not a CJ, as an associate siguro. Pero yun nga, doon, maganda yung paliwanag niya siguro. Pero yung iba naman, nagpapaliwanag, wala naman silang kachansa-chansa talagang man, manombrahan eh. I mean, uh, with all due respect. No? Kaya yun nga, walang malinaw na justification for extending it. So nung makausap ko yung iba doon, like sina Neil uh, Tupas, eh, sabi nila, anyway, we have 90 days. So ang plano yata nila, mag-submit ng listahan by the end of July dahil sometime pa naman sa Agosto yung 90 days. Anyway, what that proves really is that walang urgency that uh, the Gloria Arroyo 8 so in May 2010. Mm -hmm. Kasi yung sa kasaysayan natin, for more than 4,000 days, walang Chief Justice eh. In fact, in May 1982, following another bar scandal, we had no Supreme Court for one whole week. Dahil sinabi ni Boss McCoy, Oy, I'm accepting all your resignations. So siguro, napakamutang ulo ng mga maestrado, ba hindi naman kami nagre-resign ah? But remember, at the time, he was super executive, super court, super legislature, and a one-man continuing constitutional convention. Kaya kung anong gawin niya, okay. Hindi lang yun. Pag may dumating pa dyan at sinabing, the first lady wants this. Aba, yun ang batas. Kaya yun nga, hindi ko maintindihan yung pagkamadali noong May 2010. Dahil si Chief Justice Moran noong araw, became an ambassador to Spain. And then after President Quirino had lost, na proposition siya to return to the Supreme Court. Sinabi niya, no, that should be left to the new president. Talagang quintessential delicadesa. Eh, itong si Rene, talagang delicadesa challenge. Eh. So speaking of Rene, now we're looking for who will replace him. Nabanggit nyo, people declined like Gibochidoro or former DOE Secretary Popolotilia. And they cited the seniority rule. They said that um, if they were to be asked, they would like the president to uphold seniority to avoid the Supreme Court from being politicized, to avoid jockeying. What's your stand on it? Don't you think well, that's a good idea? Well, uh, dahil ako talagang mula nitong umargue kami sa Korte Suprema doon sa People's Initiative. Talagang pinahanga kami ni Tony Carpio doon. Dahil gigantic fraud. And it was 8 to 7. So, the last few years, talagang saludo ko kay Tony Carpio. Pero may kasaysayan siya at saka yung The Firm. Kaya ako din, merong reservation kung siya dapat ma-appoint now. Uh, kung matutuloy itong mga inisyatiba ngayon, 2014, talagang hinog na hinog na. Pero yun nga, talagang kung may mga kasalanan naman, the firm nung araw, it, ito siguro ang penance, mag-tease pa ng another two years. Dahil yun nga, nasingitan siya ni Corona for very unclear reasons in 2010. So what's another two years under Masyang 2019 when he can really make a mark by continuing his excellent moves beginning, I think, sa People's Initiative. Dahil 8 to 7 yun eh. Kung natalo kami ron, eh baka, eh baka under Prime Minister Gloria tayo ngayon. Kaya malaking pabor ang ginawa sa ating inang bayan ni Tony Carpio. Okay, sir, we'll just take a break and then we'll continue okay. our discussion on the next Chief Justice. Stay with us. This is Talk Thursday.